Welcome back to the Gift of Podcast. Time to talk about the Pittsburgh Steelers. They won their division and had a good season. But towards the end, Big Ben started to break down, and that carried into the playoff loss. And we'll start with Big Ben because of his contract. He's either going to have to retire or take a huge pay cut because the Steelers can't afford his massive salary. And quite frankly, the way he played the last few weeks of the season, he doesn't deserve it. So in order for the Steelers to function, that needs to get resolved so they can re-sign Juju, Bud Dupree, plus add more talent, and even look at a decent backup option in case things go south with Big Ben again. Winning a bunch of games just to sputter out in the end is not a good formula. And that's what you're getting with Big Ben at this point. If the Steelers had average quarterback play, they would have probably won a couple more games at the end of the season and beat the Browns in the playoffs. And it's exactly why I wanted to see the Steelers go after Jameis Winston last offseason. So in case something did happen to Big Ben and he was old and done, they would have a backup option. Mason Rudolph or Delvin Hodges doesn't cut it. The free agent market doesn't offer much this offseason in terms of quarterback, but they could make another run at Jameis Winston, Ryan Fitzpatrick, or Jacoby Brissett. If Big Ben goes down, which he most likely will, it'll be worth every penny. On the offense, the Steelers have to get better at running back. James Conner is pathetic, and no one else on that Steelers roster stepped up and made life easier for the offense. Literally, it felt like every time James Conner touched the ball, he just ran into a wall. Didn't help the team at all. And that's all they do in Steelers Nation is hype him up. And yeah, I know we had a good background story and everything, and he beat cancer, but come on, man, you got to get better. If the Packers don't re-sign Aaron Jones, the Steelers could make a play for him. The other options that could be available are Chris Carson, Leonard Fournette, and Phillip Lindsay. Steelers have to make a play to get a legit 1,000-yard back to help out the offense. Because essentially, this offense turned into Big Ben and the shotgun all the time, and it was pretty predictable. And honestly, it really didn't make sense why the Steelers would continue to do that and not change things up. They never lined up in single back or anything and let Big Ben have play action. Doesn't make sense. They just lined up in the shotgun and let the other team know they were going to pass it every time. Like Big Ben was throwing darts and they were just telling him, here you go, this is what we're doing. Pretty lame, if you ask me. Looking at receiver, they need to re-sign Juju. And then the receiving core is stacked and fine. I have no problems there. And on the offensive line, I think they're in pretty good shape too. I didn't think it was a problem during the season. If they want to add another piece to the guard position, they can. Most likely, they're going to have to wait to the draft, though, because right tackle and guard is very thin in free agency. Now let's jump to the defense. And it was very good for the Steelers this season. Looking at the front seven, I feel pretty comfortable with it. T.J. Watt is going to continue to wreak havoc. Devin Bush will get healthy and get better. And you have good players alongside them, like Stephon Tuitt, Cameron Hayward, and Bud Dupree after he's resigned. If they wanted to add another linebacker or defensive lineman, it would help, but I don't think it's overly necessary. Where I do think the Steelers need to get better is in the secondary. We'll see if they re-sign Mike Hilton, but I would still like to see improvements. This year's free agent market doesn't provide a shutdown corner, but there are a lot of options to help out a secondary. They could go expensive and get a name player like Patrick Peterson, or they could go a little cheaper and gamble on Xavier Rhodes. Other names are Chidobe Abouzier, Kevin King, Jason Verrett, and Dre Kirkpatrick. It'd be nice to see the Steelers acquire one or two of these players. And that wraps it up for Pittsburgh. Again, I would say the thing I'm most concerned about is Big Ben. It's not easy to find a new franchise quarterback, and it feels like the Steelers are stuck with theirs, at least for one more year. They'll have to live and die by the hand of Big Ben, and at this point of his career, I don't think it's necessarily a good thing, but it's not like they have much of a choice. With that, make sure to hit the like button, share the videos, and subscribe.